Well, hello there! I'm the Cozy Platypus, and I love stories. Writing them, reading them, watching them, playing them, you name it, I love it. But enough about me. Welcome to my channel. Today we are playing day three of Stardew Valley. So grab a cozy blanket and a warm drink of your choice, and let's play. <music> In case you missed last video or you need a little reminder, we are playing the save file with our little character Sage. She loves all things herby and planty and has a special soft spot for animals. I wouldn't call her the bubbly type, but more reserved. She loves the idea of spending hours and hours alone on her farm with no one bugging her and I don't know about you, but I can relate. Alright, so we got our first eggs of the game and finished that initial quest, which is awesome. I think we're just gonna go ahead and straight up sell them so we have a little bit of extra cash. Once we have those large eggs for the community center, we will trade over and save them and then once we have a mayonnaise machine we will turn our eggs into mayonnaise and sell them for a little bit more of a profit but for now we're just gonna sell them i don't really like to waste those products on eating just i don't know like you gotta have them the, the cash in the pocket early game there's so many things you need to get and buy and it's just you know we need the cash so we're gonna start off and just sell those eggs and if we find some forageables then great oh and i see another quest in the market for a farm fresh parsnip could a local farmer deliver one to me well jody we will try but i don't know if it will be grown in time it should have like the day that it's due i should have a parsnip so we could try if we can find you on the day that you're asking for it and then we gotta meet george we haven't met him yet i know some people have some beef with george but i kind of like him i like the grumpy old guy i mean it's just nice and he's in a wheelchair like representation for the disabled community is always a win in my book so i love that he's included and i think we're just gonna go back and get some fishing done there are some specific fish that you can only catch when it's raining so i do like to make sure that i spend a little bit of time when it does rain in each season to stop and get those fish caught so that i don't have to wait a whole nother year to be able to complete the community center i have definitely had to force myself to really utilize the fishing mechanic if i had my choice i would just avoid it but you gotta get the community center finished and i have to admit you do make some pretty good money when you're fishing especially early game so it's fair plus we want to get completion on this save uh so we're gonna have to fish if we want to do that and we gotta get our fishing skill up i actually have never maxed my fishing skill in a save in stardew i know that's kind of wild i i've played hundreds of hours i have not played past the beginning of year three in any save so i've played through a full two years and got to the grandpa's little thing at the end of two years but i've not really played much past that so there's a lot of the game that i have yet to explore even before the update came out and i'm looking forward to getting into it with you guys i think i'm gonna go up and fish in the river because i think there's more fish up here in the spring that you need to catch in the rain than you do in the ocean i think the only one that you have to catch in the rain in the spring in the ocean is the eel and that is only caught at night so i think we're gonna fish up here in the the river for a bit so i've been contemplating who i would like to marry i see sebastian walking past so we gotta talk about it the save in the past i have married abigail she was my first and i adore her i relate to her a lot of feeling like an outsider and i don't know we moved a lot when i was younger so um i had that feeling of not wanting to fit in and also i just loved adventure i wanted to be like big and bad and just like go out there and do things so i related to her a lot and i love the purple hair honestly so uh she was my first that i married and i know that i married sterling from the always raining in the valley mod and i love him but his storyline is not finished by the modder that's creating him so we will definitely be getting into his story some 
but I don't know if we will marry him. There are a couple from Ridgeside Village that are interesting to me. There's one in particular that has a really interesting story. I've explored some of it, but I have not gotten to a romanceable point with him before, and I think that would be interesting. I know most people right now are playing with Maru because of her 14 heart event change, but I don't know. I think Mario is great as a friend. I'm just not really super interested in her storyline or more rather like what she's interested in. Just the vibe. I don't know. It just doesn't, it just doesn't hit with me. So I don't know if we will do her. My last couple saves, I have been romancing Leah. I love Leah. I feel like she's just settled, you know, and the rest of them, I almost feel bad when I romance, you know, Sebastian or whatever, and he's talking about he just wants to leave the village, or Abigail, and she's has a crush on Sebastian, or, you know, a lot of the characters are already kind of, like, paired up and already have romantic interests, and then it just feels weird when I just kind of, like, override them. Maybe that's just me, but from what I can tell from, like, base game romanceable characters. Leah is like the exception to this. She is happy here. She loves being here. She's chosen to live here by herself. She's out there doing things and she feels a little bit more settled, a little bit older, whereas Abigail and Sebastian and them seem like they're like young adults, you know, I don't know, maybe 19 or something. They're still living at home. Leah's a little bit more settled, so I really like that about her. I have romanced her in the past. I've tried to get her our relationship up, but I have not actually sealed the deal, if you will. I haven't gotten to 10 hearts with her before. So there's a lot that I have not done in the way of character playthroughs, I guess you could say, with the romanceable NPCs. We will just explore a little bit and try to get to know people better. I am not gonna rush getting married in this save for sure we're gonna we're gonna be here a while so I don't see any need to rush through it there's just plenty of time if you have some early requests please leave them in the comments below I would love to hear what you think who you'd like to see us romance and who you think would be a good fit for sage oh I got some jade that's that's a good treasure sea jelly Woohoo! That is part of the new update as well. Those are pretty cool. They give you some buffs when you eat them and you can fish them up, of course. I don't know if they have any other purpose later on in game, but I do know that they do have buffs if you just eat them as is. And there are different types for each location, I believe, that you can fish them from. So there's sea jelly. I don't know if it's river jelly. I'm not sure what the names are, but there are different kinds. And there's our eel, which is awesome. That's what we needed for the, the night fishing, I believe, bundle for the community center. And we have to catch that in the spring, in the rain. So that's what our goal was for today, and we got it. We also got uh, several other fish in the river the bream and the shad and a couple others i believe on all of those i think we need the flounder too as well so we kept one of those all of those we will need for the community bundle so again keep one of each because it's just smart to keep them on hand i like to keep one of each of everything just in case we need it for a quest you never know you never know when you'll need a herring or whatnot and then we get to sell the rest and then we have some more money so we're on day three and we have 717 gold we have a bunch more stuff in the shipping bin to get some more cash tomorrow which is great now that we've done we're done fishing um i think we're gonna go and see if there are any of the green onions over here i think i got a notification that there were some but i could be oh there they, we have green onions nice great early game food. I don't know if you'd call it great because it does not give you much help, but hey, it is something. And I like to just sell the higher level just because you make more money from it, so why not? Sell everything early game, honestly. Like, keep one of each and then just sell everything else. We're gonna need a barn soon. We gotta get all the way up to having, like, a pig if we want to finish that community center early. A lot of the times, the only thing I have left to finish in the community center by the beginning of year two is that truffle. That's the only thing that I haven't done because I will get pigs in the fall, but they do not grow fast enough to be able to harvest. I'd like to try to get enough money to be able to do that. Hopefully, since we have a coop already, 
that will be a little bit more feasible. I have high hopes for this farm type and how it might help our gameplay. So I think the rest of this evening, well, the small amount of time we have left, I am just going to chop some trees, try to cl clean up my farm a little bit. We always need more wood, especially early game, so we need another chest as well because we have run out of space. And I'm just gonna set aside all the things I know that we will need for the community center bundles. Eel, our shells and oysters, forageables. I think we need the flounder too. I do like to have a chest specifically designated for quest items that I need for errands so that I don't lose them. And I think the rest of these are not part of the community bundles. All right, well, thank you for hanging out with me today. I had a blast and I hope you did as well. Hopefully next time we can get a little bit closer to the mines being unlocked. I'm ready to have a pet. It feels so lonely on the farm until you get your first pet and uh, get that community center open so we can get some of the stuff turned in. Right now we're playing Stardew Valley and I've also been playing some Sims 4 if you'd like to check that out, but I plan to start incorporating even more cozy games soon, so please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and I hope to see you very soon, but until then I hope you have an awesome day.